Hi, I'm Stacy. I'm an engineer here at Aon, and today we're on line nine, and we're gonna be looking at how we build an R&D box. We start building an R&D unit by building the base and then adding in some of the posts. As we go down the line, you may notice that each unit is just a little bit different from each other. That's because all of our units are built to order. At this point in the manufacturing process, we've now installed the compressors. This is the first major component that we install in the unit. Next, we install the supply fans. These are always a backward curved plenum fan that's directly mounted to a motor. In this unit, the fan is painted blue as part of the interior corrosion package. Our next component are the evap coils. These will always be a fin and tube coil, which we build down in our Longview, Texas facility. Depending on the size of unit, it'll either be a single slab coil or two separate interlace coils. Our next steps are installing the control panel along with the copper package. All of our controls are designed and built in-house in our Kansas City office. For our D-Box line, we assemble our condensing section separate from the unit. We assemble the condenser section to the side and then lift it up into the air and place it on top of the unit. Our final steps in our building process is installing any final posts along with any other selected components such as a heat wheel, or in this case, a damper assembly. After the unit has been vacuumed and then charged, it comes to this area, which is called the test ground. This is where we perform a functionality test on every single unit before it moves on to get painted. Our final steps before shipping the unit out the door is to clean the unit, paint it, and then add the decals, such as nameplates, warning labels, and logos. Behind me is what a finished R&D unit looks like. Thanks so much for watching.